you may know what you want to be in the future. And if you don't, that's okay. Say if you want to be an NBA player or an MLB player. You need to start working now. Because there could be other kids working harder than you that want to get the same position as you, same job as you. Say if you want to be an engineer, you have to start working now. Work hard in math. Work, take engineering classes. And do athletic classes if you're trying to be basketball. Or do extra math classes. Because if, if you want to be an engineer, you got to be smart. If you want to be a, playing basketball, you got to be athletic. And if you want to do different things, then start working now. My next point is, don't do what other people tell you to do. That's dumb. If someone says to do drugs or drink alcohol before the age is allowed, or even if it's allowed to do, even if it's the age to do drugs, don't do it. You will regret it. Drugs can be terrible for kids, especially if you're not 21 or 18. And, and alcohol, if you drink too much, it can be very bad for you also. So don't be dumb and work very, very hard. Life is hard. It's full of difficult decisions. If you're having a hard time um, picking the right thing with those decisions, it's okay. A lot of kids do too. Decisions are hard because you want to do the right thing, but you also want to do what other kids think are cool. But don't always do what you think is cool. Just do what's right. An easy way to make the right decision is always think about your roots when you are making a decision. Your roots, well, your roots are your values, your interests, things that matter to you. These will help you make the right decision for you. If you're having a hard time figuring out what your roots are, or if you're having a hard time sticking to them, there's something you can do. You can create a mission statement. A mission statement is a list of all your values, all the things that matter to you. And what you do with this list is you read it every day before you go do something, make a decision. So you always make the right decision. This mission statement can also help you find your talent, something you're good at. Even if it's something as small as listening or just being kind, a mission statement will help you. So always remember, when you're making tough or challenging decisions, stick to your roots and always be true to yourself. Mission statement. You're probably wondering, what is a mission statement? Well, a mission statement is a formal summary of the aims and values of a company, organization, or individual. One of the most famous mission statements is by Whitney Nazkia, and they're about care, love, fight, and rock. But when you're making a mission statement, you have to watch out for three things. Number one, don't let people prejudge you. Don't let people dictate on who you are, and don't let them change the path you're going through. In the author's words, you and I are too complex to be neatly shelved in a category like a clothing store. Watch out number two. Don't let mistakes hold you back. It's never over. Many teens go through a, a time where they lose an experience and do a whole bunch of things they aren't proud of. If you make mistakes, then guess what? You're normal. Every teenager, adult, and child have all made mistakes. Watch out, number three. It does not matter how fast you're going or how good you look doing it. If you're going down the wrong path, it's, it's never worth it. I want you to take a moment right now and ask yourself, are you bringing your life into the right direction? If so, great. But if not, there's, a there's still a time to change. Go for your goal. Once you have a mission, set your goals. Missions and goals are like pizza. The mission is the whole pizza and goals are the slices. One slice, at a, one slice of pizza at a time. When you're setting a mission, forget all your mistakes in the past. Follow, look, follow the advice by George Bernard Shaw. He said, when I was a young man, I observed that nine out of 10 things I did were failures. I didn't wanna be failure, so I did 10 times more work. The five keys of goal, set, goal settings. Number one, count the cost. 
Count the cost means calculate the con consequences of something. Setting goals comes with dedication. You, may, you have to be dedicated to get what you want. You can't expect to get anything without a consequence. Like for example, last year when we were full time, I worked out after school almost every day. But I'd be invited to a friend's house to come hang out, to come hang out. I had to sacrifice hanging out with my friends to go and work out. My dad always says that um, the saying, what do, you, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up is stupid. The real question is, what are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want? The second key of goal setting is write it down. Write it out. It has been said that a um, that a goal has not been written that has not been written down is only a wish. There's no ifs and buts about it. A written goal also carries ten times the power of a normal goal. Number three. There is a time to um, there's a time to say I will try, and there's a time to say I will. A time to make excuses and a time to burn the ships. And the author qu quoted that one of his that he read a thing about Cortez, about how he burnt the ships so there was burn his ships with five hundred men, all eleven ships, that th so they would not be able to retreat. Never say I will, or never say or and say I and start saying I do. Wait, say I will and say I do. In the great words of Yoda, do or not do. Number four, use momentous moments. All ends can start a new beginning. Like for an example, the new year. 2020 was one of the worst years that I've ever experienced. But watch, 2021, it's gonna be one, it could be one of the best years ever. There's always time to start a new beginning. All things with starts and finishes and beginnings and ends all carry momentum. Momentum. We can also regenerate out of the ashes after a bad experience. So like a family member passed away. Setbacks and tragedies can often set off a springboard for change. They motivate you and make you stronger. And the fifth and last key, rope up. You will accomplish more in life if, you ha um, if you'll rope up and borrow the strength from others, such as getting people that have the same goals as you. Like, for an example, I want to make the MLB. And I know all my friends around me, such as Brayden and Hudson, want to go to the MLB also. Another quote that the author said is, The more ropes you have out, the greater of your chances of success. Thank you for listening to about my pages in my habit. Catch you later.